Oh, I'm so busy. Oh, 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 don't look at me. I'm shy. I'm just soft like a vagina. Oh, 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 oh. It's fun being a simp. Just walking around. Being weak. Well, oh, oh, women can do whatever they want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They deserve luxury. I'll pay for everything. Expect nothing. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. You're not going to make fun of me with your stupid hat, your sun hat. Oh. oh, men have to bow down to women. That's what they need to do. They need to be the weakest. Oh, 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 oh. And if you do that, you know what's going to happen? They're going to, they're going to love you for you. Yeah, you know what you need to do is get with the dating roach, and he, I mean dating coach, and he's going to help you. He's going to help you because you're the problem. <laughs> Be nice to women. Bend over back. You know what you need to do? Is bend over backwards and then you start talking like a like uh, like a like an AW like oh, oh my god, honey. Oh my god, honey. You're so nice to me, honey. That's what you should do, guys. Come on. Come on now. Real masculinity is about not being toxic. You're toxic. You. This guy right here. With your stupid purple shirt. And you look like you got man boobs. Even though you're in better shape than me. You know, you know. You know what your problem is? You're a dork. You're an icy virgin. <laughs> you're an icy virgin. You know what you also are? Is your weak. Even though I'm weak, I'm projecting onto you. I let women walk all over me. But you know what I do because I'm a sim? <laughs> Is I'm hard on men. Okay? I'm hard on men, but I'm in real soft on women. Oh, honey, do whatever you want. I've got a man cave. I've got a beautiful man cave. The rest of the house is all yours, even though I provide 99% of everything. You don't need to do anything. Just sit around and get fat and lazy, and then resent me in the long run. Oh, legionnaires. Mm, you. Mm, night. Oh, <laughs> Hey there. Hey, hey, neighbor. Hey, neighbor. Hi, hi. What is wrong with you? What are you talking about? Guys, donkey punch the like button as you come in. Finger the subscribe button. Comment in the comments. Oh, man, I messed that up. Comment in the comment section. Become a Legionnaire member. Hit that notification bell. Mm. <laughs> To my neighbors out there who are following me, special shout out to Mr. Blake. Appreciate you, buddy. Great clarity call. We got to the root. Well, we're just starting, but incredible stuff. I appreciate all your gentlemen's support as we start winning, as we succeed, as we move forward, as we throw down. Get yeah, gentlemen. <laughs> there is nothing but upward movement. That's what we're up to. We're making things happen. It is spectacular as always. <laughs> the Sips are in full effect. Full force. They are really doubling down. The Sips are so terrified these days. And don't worry. We're going to tie it all back together. The Sips are terrified. Along with the little AWs. There's a lot of butterflies out today. What the hell? It's going to be brutal, guys, coming up pretty soon. And I always want you guys to be a step ahead of the game. Oh, but boy. Oh, boy. AWs are in big trouble. They have made a calculated error. And it's funny because it all started from something that we created for them, that cell phone. You know, and social media, the internet, the whole, the whole shebang. And it's funny because every time that we've moved up, every time that, you see this butterfly right here? See this flapping butterfly? That's, that's an AW. She's trying to figure out what the hell am I supposed to do now? She's wiggling around. She's like, huh? Well, I'm going to go from this flower to this flower to this flower and this flower and this flower. And maybe, maybe 
I'll give myself a high value now. No, sorry. <laughs> That's not happening anytime soon. Oh, it just takes one. Maybe I can rope him into something and then I can, oh, maybe I can sue him. That's not going to work either, ladies. Oh, man. You, you just don't get what you're doing. You don't understand that you're in the failure triangle. But we'll get into it today, guys. I know I'm jumping way ahead, but you know that's how I like to do things. You know what? Let's go to the, let's go to the trees. You guys love the trees. Today is going to be brutal. <laughs> poor poor HWs, man. They just don't know what they're doing. And one of the funniest things that I've seen and a lot of different dating roaches have commented on and want to be freaking philosophers is that essentially AWs are not providing. AW is short for American women. They are not providing anything and expected to men to provide everything for them. They're going to provide nothing in return. They are the table. We're going to raise our standards. And that's spectacular in theory. In theory, communism works, <laughs> but unfortunately to my AWs, not only is this not going to work, for pretty much 99.9% .9 of all of you, it's going to completely ruin your lives. And we'll get into it today. Oh boy, how the mighty have fallen. You want to know what's really funny, guys? As much as, <laughs> as, much as I <laughs> lambast a little AW, see, that's better. That's a better angle. Let me get it. Uh, as much as I make fun of them, they used to be at the top of their game back in the day. They used to have leverage. And uh, now it's just, God, it's, it's so pathetic. It really is. Reverend Kevin Powell, shout out to you, buddy, from Bakersfield. This guy's got himself a little Nigerian chick half his age. Wow. Reverend Kevin Powell knows something. But a lot of guys don't know that you can upgrade for the rest of your life. <laughs> and this is something, my little ladies, you cannot do. Oh, they're going to learn, guys. <laughs> and they're going to look back on these channels and these, you know, more niche uh, uh, places. And they're going to go, holy crap, we should have listened. And guys, it's not up to us to make them listen. Not at all. It's not up to us to pound them on the head. It's just to essentially help the future generations for making other stupid ass mistakes. And they will. They're going to make plenty of mistakes. But here's the funny part. We're going to win the whole time. <laughs> and there's nothing they can do about it. Oh, it's sad, guys. It really is. You know, that's and I know I use that word so often, but it really is. Okay. Let me just give you an example. I always give examples. <laughs> it's like the <laughs> luxury is going to help me. Look, we'll get into all that. <laughs> I need a high value. You're so stupid. You wonder what's funny about the whole luxury thing? I was thinking about this right before the stream, and that's why I added it last minute. It's going to be something that we're we're going to add into the. Oh boy, let's just start. <laughs> you wonder what's funny is not only. Are they so unaware of what's going on? Not only are they so far behind, but their counterparts are as well. Now, what do I mean by that? Gentlemen, simps are the direct, essential, co compatible creature to the average AW now. That, that's, they don't understand that they're actually one and the same. And what's funny is your average AW just doesn't understand why things aren't going her way. So she's going to say up and down, you need to be the provider. I'm going to provide nothing because I've got essentially attention and validation on this phone. And you're not giving me enough and it's never enough. Keep providing. I'm never happy. But what she doesn't understand is her own misery is being created not only by herself, but by the simps that kiss her butt. And this is something you're going to notice is the complete opposite when you go overseas. When you're overseas, when you are with your traditional foreign women, you're going to go, holy cow. They don't need any luxury and they're always happy. This is something we've never gotten into, gentlemen. Your average AW 
is a cat chasing the hell was that uh, is a cat chasing a bunch of catnip and the catnip is normally dudes of high value or hot guys or whatever or chadwick fairbanks is like myself yes guys i've been a chad most of my life and i know you may not believe that but it's true let's get in cheap <laughs> and tyronius maximuses and all this but here's the truest irony out of all of this. Nobody's winning except average guys. Isn't that ironic? And that's going to be my target demographic. That is the truest irony out of all of this. The only people that are winning are just average guys. You think high value dudes are winning? Oh no. They're getting their asses handed to them in court. They're getting sued. They are being taken down left and right. And you want to tell me they're winning? Mr. You need to become high value? No, son. Mr. I'm a dating roach. Mr. I'm RP. Get your ass out of my face. Anyway. <laughs> it's going to be a reckoning like you have never, ever, ever understood. <sighs> Eddie Powell from Ireland. I love Ireland, by the way. Shout out to you. The most gorgeous countryside I've ever seen in my life. Thank you, Eddie Powell. Thoughts on Nala Ray leaving OnlyFans. Nine million she made now saved by God, apparently. <laughs> Here's another one, gentlemen. It's another one we're getting into, Andy Pal. Yes, we will go ahead and discuss that because it has to do with the topic. Again. <laughs> you, you, don't you guys ever notice I'm always laughing? I'm always it's just and I'm always saying it's <sighs> It's sad, man. Gentlemen, they are so screwed. Here's, an, here's a perfect example. At my job, there's this little chick there, right? And she's smoking hot. And normally, I get the, hot, the hottest chicks at the, you know, the, my jobs. or whatever. They're always uh, curious. And the reason for this is because I don't pay attention to them normally. Or I'm very uh, short with them. And I'm just busy. And so, what's funny about her... Here's a perfect example of the sadness. This girl is very pretty. She's probably an LA7. She has long, black, curly hair. She has a pretty baby face. She's got uh, sparkling, light blue eyes. Perfect teeth, perfect smile. Incredible body. Yet she has tattoos all over her arms. And they're going to get worse. And the reason why I'm bringing this up, gentlemen, is because it is sad. Because normally, this nice girl, she's very nice, wouldn't be so damaged. She wouldn't be searching for anything. She would actually be okay in a traditional foreign country. She would have no damage at all. She would not be searching for anything. No luxury. She would not be saying, I'm, I am the table. Guys, in 15, less than 15 years, she is going to be one of these chicks who's bitter, who's hurt, who's angry, who's lashing out, who says, well, I don't need a man. Well, I'm saved in another 15 years. I've been ran through by a ton of dudes. They always do this and they're this and they're that. She's going to be one of those. And I could be one of those. What I'm getting at is I could be one of those guys that crushes her little heart. Because she flirts with me, she looks at me, she's always curious, trying to get that attention. And she can't get it, guys. This is just an example. Now, what if I went after that? Not a good idea. What I'm getting at is, this is their plight. Failure. This is their reality. Failure. Left and right, with no chance of success. Check it out. They're not going to be getting any of this. They are going to get hammered. They are going to get hammered over and over again. They're not succeeding anytime soon. And now, if you're an average guy, I actually envy you. Because you have all the power. You, to the average guys, you really don't understand how much power you really have. You don't understand the bullets that you're dodging, son. You have no clue. 
If you're a five foot nine or under dude or five ten or whatever, you're not necessarily handsome, you're just average. You're not necessarily buff, you're just average. Or maybe you're just a hideous chud. You are literally dodging massive amounts of trauma, terror, and essentially losing. Gentlemen, what high value dude, what guy with money or status or wealth or any of the combination of their, you know, how many of these dudes are actually winning? They're not in court. They're not being trying to take it up, taken down by some chick. It cost me 50,000, Paul. It cost me 100,000. It cost me $2 million to get rid of her. You want to be one of those sons of bitches? No, you don't. That's what I'm getting at. And yes, gentlemen, I have lived around luxury for probably about two, about two thirds of my life. No, I shouldn't say that. Maybe half. Half of my life I've lived around luxury. I've lived in luxury, beyond luxury. The most expensive real estate, the most expensive towns, cities, places. And guess what? Don't mean jack. You want to know why? Because the women there are more miserable than ever. That is correct, gentlemen. We have never covered this topic. It's been 2,000 plus video, oh, almost 2,000 videos. Your average luxury seeking thought is a miserable, effing, you know what, piece of. Never mind. I'm going to get demonetized immediately. <laughs> Ah, Reverend Kevin Powell. Nope, just another chameleon, correct? Um, look at the king of the jungle. Female does most of the labor. Male relaxes and makes sure everything is safe in the hood. That's how it's going to go. Uh, pretty much, Eddie Powell. That's it's very, very... It, it's hard for AWs to understand this stuff, but they're going to learn the hard way. So hard. And they're starting to take the lumps now. Guys, I've been talking about this for about two years. And I got a bunch of, what are you talking about? <laughs> We're about seeing ahead into the future of what's coming, of what the logical next steps are. And it's going to be a brutal ass kicking for your average AW. Duncan puts that like button is coming. Get it. So take, for example, thought on Nala Ray leaving OnlyFans, 9 million, she now saved by God. Yeah, yeah, that's spectacular. And yes, there's going to be the saved women and the chameleons and all this other stuff. And gentlemen, we've already talked about this for years now, about a year and a half of that, where your average AW is going to say that it was, you know, God, the devil's fault again, no, taking no accountability, no responsibility. It was the devil's fault. It was men's fault. It was everybody's fault except her own. Now, there's going to be a lot of guys who are duped by this because guys do not listen to what women are really saying. She's another one caught in the failure triangle. Do stupid things. Get stupid results. Be completely absolved of those stupid results by simps and her little girlfriends. Go right back to doing stupid things that ruined your life. It's called the failure pyramid for a reason. The failure triangle. She's just going to be another casualty of this. She's going to go right back to what she was doing. She is going to ruin more lives. That's how it goes, guys. The money doesn't mean anything to them, gentlemen. So my legionnaires, money means so little to women that it's not even funny. It has nothing to do with money or luxury or any of these types of things. It has to do with the fact that they have no one to hold them accountable. When gentlemen, when they say they want you to provide and all this stuff, what they really want is you to take away the pain. The pain of them going out here and using their bodies. That's what they're really saying. And I know you guys are going to think I'm crazy and this is some sort of psycho babble, but if you really, really break it down, the vast majority of AWs just want to be protected, provided for, and led. And since they are told constantly no, by society, you know what they do? They lash out. They're not getting what they really want deep down. Since men used to 
hold themselves accountable for. When, gentlemen, do you understand that back in the day, to my legionnaires, you know what guys would do? If a girl messed up, he would take responsibility for it. Yes, gentlemen, that is correct. And that's why we had authority over them. Okay, for example, let's say a woman made a big-ass scene back in the day. Her man would be there to check her. You want to know why? Because women back in the day used to essentially give that authority and that accountability to us. Most people are never going to tell you this. You want to know why? Because they want women to be the victim. I know, guys. Layers and layers and layers. <sighs> so what did they do? They essentially said, well, now men are not responsible for women anymore. And women are essentially independent from us, correct? But now they're protector. Their protector from themselves when they did stupid things was gone. Isn't that intriguing? If you really break it down, gentlemen, we have been there since day one to save them from themselves. To be their accountable, what would you call it? Uh, essentially, their authority figure, right? Gentlemen, you, to, my, to my legionnaires, you can't be a victim and a leader at the same time. You can't be an authority and be a victim at the same time. Now, why is that? Because what happens is now your credibility is taken away from you. Because if you choose to be a victim, gentlemen, you are essentially a child. A child has no responsibilities, right? Because they're a child. Because they need to be taken care of. Because they need to be pampered. Because they want somebody to provide for them, correct? And rightfully so, they should. But that is why parents have authority over their children. To my AWs out there, this is why you are so effed up. Nobody has authority over you. And yet you want everything to be provided for you. And it's not going to happen. Even simps cannot do this. How is a simp going to provide for you and then have no authority over any of your decisions? You're, you're a child, essentially. You say you want no responsibility. You want to sit around and be paired. Gentlemen, what is a princess other than just a child? You want to do nothing all day? Okay, great. Well, how, who's going to take care of you? Oh, there's a plane. What? Kind of rare. <laughs> I mean, if you really break it down, gentlemen, princesses are just children. I want to be a princess. Translation, I don't want to do anything all day. Okay, you want to sit around and be pampered. How is that going to make sense? How is a simp going to give her money and do all these things and nothing in return? Well, that's not going to happen. Even a simp won't go for it. And the reason for this is because when she's not held accountable for anything, she's going to blow up. She's going to be miserable. She's going to throw a tantrum. Doesn't that make sense, guys? She's going to throw a hissy fit. And of course, the simp will acquiesce. He'll give in. But now she's miserable all over again. Luxury isn't going to save you, ladies. It's not going to make you happy. And that's why the women who seek out luxury the most are the most miserable creatures on the planet. Oh, look at my Louis Vuitton. Oh, look at my Dior. Oh, my handbag. Oh, high value. That's you. Pathetic. Ah, we were the conservator to our wives in that long bygone era. The wives had freedom, but when it came to the husband, when it came to it, the husband was the one who had full responsibility in the situation, correct? And this is why, to my AWs, you're so unhappy. This is why you're seeking luxury. You're trying to fill that void that is empty in your heart, and it's too late. It's going to be brutal, guys. And see, what's happening is, as much as the simps say, well, we should keep providing and get nothing, even the simps are being rejected by, the, by these women. The simps are being pushed away. See, that's the truest irony of all this. 
to my simps out there, you can say till you're blue in the face that she belongs on a pedestal and you, she deserves this and that. She's rejecting you, son. She's kicking you away. And she believes she deserves better than you. So how are you ever going to save her? Ouch. You see what I'm saying, guys? This is why the average AW is so screwed. This is why she has no recourse. It's over, gentlemen. The game is so far over that there are no more lives left. Kind of like, guys, when you used to play Street Fighter 2 and you got no lives left and you got to go scrounge for some quarters back at the arcade and it's like 1990, <laughs> 1991, <laughs> 92, <laughs> 93. <laughs> you're, you're playing Street, Street Fighter Turbo. Game's over. It's going to be really, really brutal, guys, because the reckoning hasn't even come yet. Do you see what I'm saying? The losses keep mounting, but nobody's taking accountability for it. And who's going to pay? You guys think it's going to be guys who pay? Oh, no. It's going to be simps. It's going to be AWs. They can try to... Gentlemen, they can get back... I saw that o OF chick, and she got baptized, and now she's... She's considered uh, reborn, and she's going to become... Guys, mark my words, she'll become a born-again virgin and all that stuff. But it's too late. Now, for those of you who are really spiritual, her soul, you already know, is... <sighs> yeah, guys. And that's why it's sad. That's what I'm getting at. The sadness is just pathetic. So, for example, that chick at my job, who's in LA7, she's very pretty... She kind of has like a baby face. She's very cute, very pretty. And she's nice and friendly. And she says, hi, Paul. And she's just a sweetheart. But those tattoos. Yeah, guys, it's the saddest thing because she could be great, beautiful smile. And she's bubbly at times. But then at other times, she needs her therapist. She needs her psychiatrist. I, we got a lot of chemistry too, but it is what it is, guys. Yeah, AWs, <laughs> it's going to be a, when, when the reckoning comes, gentlemen, when they hit rock bottom, you think it's bad now. Oh, my gentle Jesus. It is going to be something that you guys have never seen in your entire lives. And the reason for that is because there is no recourse. There's no support. There's no, there's no safety net, gentlemen. When they fall over the government's not going to be there and here's why because when the government tries to help them they go to corporations right here's how it breaks down guys i want you to go over to ho underscore math great channel and he breaks it down perfectly aws go to the government they cry they say we need equal this government steps in tells corporations to pay for it well, at a certain point, gentlemen, it becomes too expensive for corporations to prop up someone that lazy, someone who has no skills, someone who is a diversity hire. It's too late. Then what happens when the bottom falls out? Well, girls end up on the street. Remember right when COVID started, women we were being employed more than men. Right after that, bottom fell out. And where were women? Back to what they knew. OF. Content creation. Objectification. Going to gyms and trying to get attention. And what they did not count on is average guys saying goodbye. Which I've... <laughs> gentlemen, I've been talking about this for years. Guys aren't going to sit around and take that crap. See, what women really did in the West is they thought... That they could just do whatever they wanted. And guys had no choice. No options. That's the lie. When they jump on their phones. And they see a hundred. Oh, I love you. You're so sick. I want to wipe the sweat off you. And all the disgusting things. What they didn't count on. Is that guys would say no. And go overseas. Eddie Powell over there in Ireland actually has a conservative country. Isn't that ironic? 
The divorce rate's pretty low in Ireland, guys, and I've been to Ireland. It's a spectacular country. <sighs> Is Callie going to do a Florida 2 with alimony? Yes, Eddie, yes. But it's going to take time, buddy. The wheels of justice move slowly. Irish women are nice for the most part, gentlemen. But again, westernization pretty much goes to any English-speaking country eventually. So don't ever forget that. Here, let me get across the street. This guy's playing basketball. I don't need them to hear this crap. <laughs> or try to get the street. <laughs> yes, eventually it will. But again, Andy Powell, these, all the laws are going to take time to change. It's going to take about two to three generations. And the reason for this is because AWs haven't hit rock bottom yet. They have not met the moment of truth. They have not gotten there. They've not achieved moment of truth status. When they hit moment of truth, it's going to be the point of no return. Translating, they're going to be effed. It'll be too late. Gentlemen, do you think, do you think, just be honest with me. Reverend Kevin Powell, Eddie Powell, come on, guys. Can that, can that thought, who has been with 300 plus dudes and sold everything on in, the internet and all this stuff, can she really be saved? Can she really change her ways? Now, give me probability versus possibility. I don't care about the little positive, you know, Will, it could happen and the lightning could strike my brain. Give me a real answer. Come on. Is the, average, is the average thought going to be able to undo all the damage, all the pain, all the connection she could have had? Just like that beautiful chick at my freaking work. And guys, she's not ugly. I'm telling you, she's very pretty. I sh she has like light eyes and dark hair. Unbelievable combination. Oh my God. And she smiles at me all the time, and she waves, and I can tell, man, she is. You know what I'm saying, guys? They want to get close to you, but the damage gets in the way. The pain that they've experienced. And, of course, you have to understand, I'm not just kicking the crap out of them and kicking them down. I get it. They went after Chadwick Fairbanks. They went after Tyronius Maximus. However, however, they made the choice, gentlemen. They said we don't need your authority anymore we're going to rebel a rebellious woman rebelling in the jezebel spirit <sighs> she's gonna learn she's gonna be <laughs> out on these streets because that's what she chose sad guys but it is what it and here's the craziest part, part about all this so many of them have chosen the streets how are they actually going to catch these dudes that actually want pure women think about it if it was just a couple of them okay but if the vast majority of gen z girls are open to all this gender fluid nonsense and hooking up left and right what do you think the consequences of that are to my aws you're going to learn and it's not because i want you to and experience all this pain it's inevitable there is no way out there is no fixing this. Now, to my average dudes, to my high value dudes, and I do have guys who make a lot of money. I have seen my uh, demographic and demographics and psychographics. I have guys who make very little money, and I have guys who make a lot of money. To my average dudes, how many bullets have you dodged when you haven't gone after an AW who's all banged up? To my average dudes, we're making average money. Average. How much have you just made your lives much, much more valuable, especially to women overseas, especially to good traditional foreign women who have never even kissed a dude, never even touched a man in their entire lives, and they just want one good man? How much more valuable are you to them where you're crapped on constantly? by angry, bitter, over-the-hill AWs who have scores of tattoos and resting B-face. Oh, Thousand Sea Stare. Oh, every man has heard me. Oh. 
Oh, Lord have mercy. Ah, Reverend Kevin Powell, anything is possible, but it's highly unlikely they will change it to any substantial level. You beat me to it. They are operating under the spirit of Jezebel and Lilith. Shout out to Coach Greg Adams for that uh, excerpt of the, vibe, the Bible. But it's 100% on the money. Now, gentlemen, this may, to my legionnaires, this may shock you. This may confuse you, but I have racked my brain. I have crunched the numbers. I have written out diagrams. Shout out to Homath. I like him. And I've broken this down. There really is no fixing this for AWs. And why would you want to fix it, you ask? Well, there he did it to themselves and all this. Gentlemen, because if I could fix this, I could be the greatest, the greatest freaking wizard, freaking actual businessman of all time because I would make billions. There is no fixing it. There is no endeavor that can fix the little ladies. It's too late. Now, the great part is for you guys, you can fix it at any time. Gentlemen, you could come from up here, crash and burn, and come right back with a vengeance because you have time on your side. You don't have a biological clock. They do. They're completely completely screwed. They're looking for an out. They're looking for a sucker. Yeah, I'm going to divorce him. Yeah, I'm going to get married. Yeah, I'm going to make a situation ship work. And then I'm going to ask for money and say he hurt me. Then I'm going to go ahead and take him for all he's worth. Ladies, that is the worst plan ever. Because even if you do get that stuff, what you are doing is now screwing women later on down the line. Anybody home? Think, McFly, think. I'm trying not to shout. Calm down. <sighs> to all my nice AWs who, who message me and are flirting and all this stuff, I know you're in pain. I know you say you're a good woman. I know you were deceived. I get it. But it doesn't matter. Because guys... Unfortunately, like my legionnaires have already left, now you're left holding all the responsibility that you thought you wanted. And you are going to be the ones, unfortunately, who are left effed, screwed. Oh yeah, gentlemen, there's going to be plenty of good women <laughs> with very low body counts to none who are going to be asked out. There's nothing they can do. Oh boy. I mean, I mean, come on, guys, do you have a solution to this? In the comment section, what is your solution? What is your solution to a woman completely using her body all the time? Well, it shouldn't matter. It doesn't matter what should be. What is? <laughs> well, it shouldn't matter. <laughs> Just because. Now I want everything paid. What does that sound like to you, a child? A two-year-old, a one-year-old. Oh, look at this guy's brand new road. Isn't that great? <laughs> My poor eight. I can have it all. That sounds like a two-year-old. And you want no accountability. You want to okay. Here's what you want, hey W's. You want men to give you money and expect nothing in return. You want men to give you money. Go off, make tons of mistakes, and come back and ask for more. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll do that, but we're going to say bye. Or we're not going to get anything in return and not give you anything. Don't you understand, stupid? That's kind of sad. Now you're hurting my feelings. You're probably bald under there. No, I'm not bald under here, sweetie. <laughs> I got a full head of thick-ass hair, <laughs> and it does not do well in heat. I kind of wish I was bald, in a way. That'd be badass, man. Then I could put on beanies and stuff. I don't know. It'd be kind of badass. I know that sounds silly, but you work with what you got. Eddie Powell. And then they join Islam and blame Christianity for giving free will. No, e exactly. It's too late, Eddie Powell. It's too late. AW's made their choices, and now they... Here's what's so funny about all this. To my legionnaires, you know I predict pretty well, pretty well, decently, what's coming in the next 
mm, five years, women are going to be kissing your buttocks. Gentlemen, you can kind of bend over like this. Ah, look at that gut. Ah. <laughs> Damn, it's almost flat, guys. Almost. I'm getting there. I'm almost. Okay. Here, let me show you. Let me show you real quick. Okay, see this right here? See this big purple thing right there? Look at that big fat. I'm getting in shape, guys. I'm almost there. Give me, give me some time. I'm almost there. I've lost a ton of body fat. So anyway, you bend over and guess what? You make them kiss that <laughs> because that's all that's going to happen. <laughs> that's all you get, ladies. Kiss that rear end. <laughs> Oh, that's mean. I want to shame you. It's too late, ladies. You're getting rear ends. <laughs> You're going to have to kiss it. <laughs> oh, my shoulder. My poor AWs. You're going to get... You're going to get... <laughs> that's mean. Why are you mean that way? My poor AWs. If I could fix this, guys, I would. I'd be making a lot of money. <laughs> oh, man. It's going to be ironic. And here's what's... Okay, so here's what's going to happen. Girls are going to be kissing. <laughs> see, see this back here? See this back there? They're going to be kissing your ass <laughs> in the next five years. Gentlemen, you think I'm crazy. Do you think that... <laughs> see, because AWs don't operate in... Uh, what is it? Reality. <laughs> so at first they're going to shout, oh, you're this, you're this. What do you think is the exact antithesis of that? The exact opposite? Well, they're going to go, oh my God, I better, I better be nice. Oh yeah, Reverend Kevin Powell, you're amazing. Oh my God, I love your bushy beard. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, Paul, I love your, 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 your strong stuff. You get that barrel chest and you're getting in shape. Oh wow. You're getting sexy. Oh, look at the little right there. Oh, look at that little hip line. You're burning body fat. I'm proud of you. You're a sexy. That's what they're going to kiss your ass. Guys, they are going to kiss your asses like you have never. You are going to think you are a god. You're going to think you're a Greek god. You think you're, you're going to think that you are a Roman god and a Greek god because they are going to be kissing your ass that much. That's what's coming. Guaranteed. And you guys are going to be like, what the hell is all this? I'm not that ripped. You know what I mean? I'm getting there, but you know what I'm saying? You're going to be like, okay, I've lost most of my spare tire, and it's almost completely gone. But why are they kissing my ass so much? <laughs> That's what you guys can <laughs> <It's> come <laughs> Oh, Monterey Blue Man. I went muck mode for, <laughs> for four years while I learned a foreign language and then went to Mexico. <laughs> And all this to escape all the way from AW worth it, guys, to go go get go do it. Yeah. Monterey Blue Man, Mr. Randy, he knows. He <laughs> Gentlemen, you think I'm crazy. They are gonna be kissing your buttocks. Oh, you're so amazing, Monterey Blue Man. They're gonna be <laughs> Donkey punch that like button as you can. Oh, my poor AW, that's not true. I'm never like a guy like y'all. Ah. Sorry, ladies. You know it's true. You know that's your only other option. And here's the saddest part about all this, guys. J guys aren't going to care because they have already walked away. It's too late. They're going to... Gentlemen, you... <sighs> okay. To all the RP weirdo cretins... Dating roaches and all this oh, RP. Oh. You're not RP, son. You just talk only about women. Well, I got I got good and bad news for you. You're kind of on the right track, but the bad news is, unfortunately, the li <laughs> the little ladies are going to undermine you at all at pretty much every point in time. Okay. Now, all this stuff that you keep talking about is not necessarily going to be very productive. And what I mean by that, <laughs> well, what I mean by that is, as it gets closer and closer to the point of no return, you guys are going to notice that they're going to shift their tune very quickly. They're going to start kissing your ass, being nice, 
and telling you you're the greatest thing since sliced bread. But what's going to happen is you guys will have already moved on, right? From this. <laughs> It'll be too late. And so what does that mean? Well, essentially girls are going to be struggling. They're going to be floundering. They're going to be kicking and screaming. So there really is no point to tear them down at all because it's too late. <sighs> anyway. Passport sis is also not going to do well like passport bros is. Of course. Gentlemen, they just don't get it. Didn't I say this almost two years ago that they were going to try to copy everything we do? I'm just like a guy. I'm going to wear a sun. I bet you guys, there's probably going to be some chick who wears a sun hat, pops on some sunglasses and starts smack, talking smack. I'm going to be just like him. Oh, you're not, sweetheart. You're going to lose. Because you don't know how to win. Let's just be honest. To my legionnaires out there, does the, v does the average AW know how to win? Does she know how to win? How is she winning? To, to all the weirdo dating roaches out there, how are women winning right now? Can you please explain this? I'm, I'm not even kidding. How are girls winning? How? In the West. <laughs> Who cares if they made $9 million? It's irrelevant. They don't care about... Think McFly. Think they don't care about the money. It doesn't mean anything. So what they mean, $9 million. Anyway, May 4th is my 30-year anniversary with my Mexican wife. To this day, does not speak English. Correct. It's going to be brutal, gentlemen. It's coming. It's coming like a freight train. And I don't care how many of you little chameleon ladies pop up and say, well, I'm not like that. I know some of you are traditional. I get it. And you email me and you message me and you say things like, well, I agree. I wish I had known this 20 years ago or I'm just coming around. I know you're out there, but you're not the majority. And you better go back to my Tradcon series and figure out what to do because it's not going to be our responsibility. Zero percent. Simps aren't coming to save you. Masculine men aren't coming to save you. You're going to have to talk to your dad and save yourselves. <sighs> it's going to be... <laughs> they're going to be out here in the... Gentlemen, they're going to be out here in these streets begging you, begging you for help. They are going to beg you for attention. They are going to beg you to help them. And it's not going to... The men are not coming to the rescue. It's too late. Those days are long, long, long gone. To my RP guys who are a little bit behind, you don't have to worry about a damn thing. You really don't. Because there's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing really that you're, you're going to do that's going to change their mind anyway. Right? I mean, what are you going to do to change their mind? Nothing. Let's see if this... Uh, Guys, if the stream gets a little glitchy, I'll just run up this stupid hill. What do you mean I need high value? By the way, to my AWs, I've got... Still. I'm sprinting up the stupid hill. Hold on. Hold on. Sprint, 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 sprint. Okay. Here's the question. Sorry, guys, for the, uh, what's it called? Buffering. Here's a question to my genius AWs. If you are taking down the patriarchy, if you are taking down all the high-value dudes, who's going to be there to say they need luxury? You just don't think ahead. And this is why you're losing. The high value men are being taken down. <sighs> seriously. Who's going to be there? Okay. I mean, seriously. If you take down all the high value men. <sighs> oh, man. <sighs> all right, let's do it. Hit that like button as you come in. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm going to get a high value guy. Well, that's not happening anytime soon, sister. First of all, they're all in some sort of lawsuit. And here's the funniest part about all this. High value dudes have the most resources to leave. You just don't think ahead, sweetheart. Nothing going on up here. <laughs> Do you think a traditional AW can stay traditional after being subjected to demonism all their lives? That's the best question of the day, Monterey Blue Man, and we all know that is the a resounding no. It's too late. She's already broken. She's already sad. She already has. See, because what a lot of men don't understand is women are easily influenced. They're very easily manipulated. They're very easy to essentially uh, coerce way more than they actually know they are. And unfortunately, the days of effinism, the days of empowerment and all those stupid buzzwords are gone. It's too late. You've got all the power you need, ladies. You're on your own. And that's really what we're going to get into, guys. The fact at all, the fact is you're all on your own now. You asked for this. You asked for very specific things. You gave in. You listened to simps. And you wanted to feel a certain way. It's too late. Luxury is not coming your way. The guys who can afford a luxury, the P. Diddies, it doesn't matter if they're guilty or innocent, gentlemen, of whatever wrongdoings. It's irrelevant. That's not part what I'm talking about. They could have done many horrible things. The point is they're being taken down. They're not coming back to save you. Do you understand, ladies? It's too late. Ah, that really pretty girl at my work. It's too late. She's already been broken. She may be very pretty. We have sexual chemistry, but it's irrelevant. Do you see what I'm saying? It's too late. She's already busted. She's already broken. The clock has is no longer telling the right time. Holy cow, it is beautiful, guys. Oh, check this out. Man, everybody's at the lake. I'm not going to the lake. I don't want them jumping in my stream. <laughs> Look how it works with ants. When the alphas leave, the whole system falls apart and they start, they start to die off. This is what is coming to now. I didn't think of it that, that way, Eddie Pell. It's very, very, very pertinent and insightful. And this is what's coming, gentlemen. The end is already here. And by the way, to, to all my weirdo conspiracy theorists and you know, angry, uh, pff, noir pillow, this, I don't care if the system falls apart. It's not really, I don't really care because we can restart it pretty much any country. So I'm not a nihilist or anything. But what I want you to know is if you're one of these burnt out dudes, the irony is you have the most leverage. <laughs> it's, like, it's like you're looking at the top when you should be looking right in front of you, son. And that's what I want my young Gen Z and Gen Alpha guys to know, which by the time you watch this, you're going to be old anyway. You guys are winning. It's so funny because at my work, there's two Chadwicks that are very young. One's 19, other one's 22. Both of them are completely not interested in dating chicks at all. And it's ironic because they're both above 6'2". They're both incredibly ripped, in incredible shape, low body fat percentage, very good looking. One of them looks like a male model. And chicks are curious about him all the time and he's just completely, get away. And I asked him point blank, I'm like, just curious. I was like, so what, what is your reasoning? I wasn't trying to shame him. I was just like, oh, I'm just curious. And he's like, they're a distraction. I'm not interested. They're, they're, they're ran through. Oh boy, this guy. And he's completely into Asian women. You know what I'm saying? And I'm thinking in my head, boy, oh boy, these Gen Z and Gen Alpha dudes have a massive opportunity. They're going to be out at the ground level. They're going to be able to get all the traditional foreign women they want who come to this country as mass immigration comes. No to women at work, it's like taking a dump in your backyard, correct? 
What's up, Room and Winners Legion Channel? Great to see you're back this weekend. Yes, sir. I apologize for being out, but gentlemen, I've been doing a lot of work at this job I have. If I could make enough money, you know, <laughs> you never know. I could just quit that job and just work on getting this channel to where I'm completely supported by it. And But at the same time, gentlemen, you never necessarily want all your eggs in one basket. So I got to make sure I'm doing multiple things, multiple streams of income. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, AWs, there's a massive gulf between them and reality. And so what you guys are going to see, they're going to keep doubling down on the whole. Don't you punch the like button as you guys come in, by the way. You're going to keep hearing them double down on the whole I am the table. I don't need to provide anything. Well, here's the problem with that to my AWs. When you don't provide anything of value in return, men can go elsewhere. I know you think, let's just say, okay, for example, to my AWs who are completely out of their minds, you're completely delusional and yeah, yeah, I'm a 20. I'm a 10. I'm this and that. Okay, fine. Let's say you are. If you're that far out of most guys' leagues, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to say, okay, you're out of my league. I'm going to go where I get somebody who's going to be good to me. Now, see what you've done? You've priced yourself out of the market. Now, you're going to counter that by telling me, well, I'll get a high value guy. Well, here's the problem with that. If the majority of women think they're a 10 and are all going for this dude, what do you think is going to happen? Are you all going to share him? No, you're not. The vast majority of you are going to be kicked to the curb and you're going to lose value rapidly. And that's what you haven't considered. You're going to lose value day by day by day. And eventually you're going to be lower value than the average guys. And you're going to tell me and counter and say, well, I never lose value. Well, okay, then... How come there's so many girls out here who can't get a boyfriend and who can't get a relationship and who are suffering and crying on social media? Why is that? Exactly. Keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Dumbass. Your average AW is up S Creek without a paddle. Your average AM or American man has a ton of leverage. Your average AM now understands that he can seek out somebody who has a good attitude. Your average traditional foreign woman now says, wait a minute. I can get different types of guys. Your average traditional foreign woman is blown away by you even paying attention to her. Because she knows in her mind she only has a limited time to secure a great option. She understands that she has to act immediately and she better be thankful for that traditional Western man or she's screwed. Monterey Blue Man's wife knows if she acts up by there's the streets. She doesn't want that. And that's what AWs are going to learn, guys, that the streets are not fun. They're going to learn that there is no luxury coming. The only luxury they're going to be able to afford is the stuff that they can spend their own money on, which they don't have. The dogs agree. Hit that like button as you come in. Yes. Yes. That's what's coming for them, guys. Luxury is one of those things that's kind of funny. Luxury is one of those things that once you get it, it doesn't have as much sparkle as you would think. Once you achieve luxury, you go, that's it. That's the funny thing about luxury. Luxury doesn't necessarily improve much of your life. What it does is it gives you an experience. Luxury gives you an experience. It does not improve your life. For example, gentlemen, for many years, I was able to afford luxury, top quality luxury. And it was funny because 
the luxurious things I was able to enjoy didn't bring me the happiness that you're told that they will, especially from AWs. For example, I had a very posh, here's just an example, a very posh gym membership. I, we're talking very expensive. And it was a spectacular experience, a spectacular access to very, very quality things. I lived in a very nice neighborhood, very expensive toys. And it gave me great experiences once in a lifetime, but it didn't improve my life in any way, shape or form. It didn't make my life easier. And see, that's the irony of these very broke women thinking that luxury is going to fix things, thinking that high value is going to fix things. What they're realizing very rapidly is that high value comes at a cost. There's a viral video TikTok of this girl who says, oh my God, dating a high value man is absolutely not what I expected. It is way harder than I thought. She says, yeah, I see all these videos of girls who talk about dating a high value man, but actually doing it is not what you would think. It is hard work because first of all, these high value guys they command a high price because they are putting out more value than the average man. So guess what? They expect a lot in return. And if you're a lazy slob, a freaking princess, a child, they're going to treat you like a child and you're not getting nothing. And that's the irony to my ladies who do not understand. Guys with power, influence, money. They command the most value and you're commanding, I am the table. So what do you think is going to happen? They're going to flick you away like a little flea. Ouch. Donkey punch the like button as you guys come in. So what is the secret to North, Northern Eastern Europe that the West don't want men to go overseas and find out? Dude, like I said before, Finland is about to end homelessness. For good by the year 2027. The West don't want men to go overseas and find out. Of, uh, I don't know. Wait. Uh, well, it's not really the topic for today, but I'll comment th on that probably in a little bit. The topic is more of women want men to provide while doing nothing, right? I guess I can tie that in because as you guys go overseas, you guys are going to notice that, it, that traditional foreign women are going to provide for you something in return for your hard work, for your actual blood, sweat, and tears. That's the irony. And by the way, the traditional foreign woman does not want a guy of high value. She does not want a rich man. Not at all. She wants a normal dude. Even if she's a 10, even if she's a 9, whatever, it's irrelevant. She knows she has a limited time to close the deal. She understands trade-offs. It's going to be brutal, gentlemen. It's going to be a reckoning. Your average traditional foreign woman is going to essentially get what she can. And she's going to be happy with it. And your average AW is going to tell you that's settling. When in all reality, that's her only option. Because the longer she waits and the more she uses self-aggrandization by telling you that she's incredible and she's the best, she's actually just waiting to fail. She thinks because these high value guys are talking to her, it somehow gives her an opportunity. But what she doesn't understand is she does not bring anything of worth. So for example, guys, when I was at that very high end gym and women would come up and talk to me, I would flick them away like a little flea because I smelled their inadequacy, their annoying behavior, their lack of value. Guys, did they approach me and bring me some spare ribs? 
with rice or did they just try to annoy me and get my attention and give me a bunch of attitude and act high value? How do you ladies quantify your own value? How do you actually give yourselves a val an actual value number <laughs> when the market dictates that, not you? You want to know why you do that, ladies, is because you know you're not bringing anything to the table. And when you do that, you think if you say it enough times, it'll come true and you'll manifest this. When in all reality, all you're doing is competing with each other. Don't you get it? But you don't. Nothing home up here. So what is the secret to Northern Eastern Europe? The West doesn't want men to go overseas and find out. It's not that they don't want men to go overseas and find out. It's that they want to protect the little ladies from the bottom falling out. But you got to go back in the stream to earlier Men's Daily Advice where I talked about the bottom falling out. Once the bottom falls out, they're screwed. They've gone too far and now they realize if the bottom falls out and there's no economic support or structural support of these ladies, they're going to be bur a burden on the system. See, the irony of all this is when they took the man out of the equation, they became a burden on the government. So the government tried to make a return on investment by telling them you don't need a man and go get a career. Now, when that goes, who is going to be there to support them? Nobody. They're going to be a further burden on the government, so they have to double down on stupid. I hope that makes sense. Eddie Powell, it's a tradition the man in inherits. Something for marrying the daughter, correct. Now, they expect men to just marry hoes that are used up. Correct, gentlemen. Eddie Powell, you just nailed it. There used to be a dowry that was given away to the husband from the daughter's father. No, it did not come from the husband. It came from the daughter's father because he knew she was an expense. Lou Scunt, what's up, boys? Good to see you here, buddy. Thank you for becoming a subscriber. I appreciate all your guys' support. So their fin financial support backup system is not going to be there anymore. Correct men's daily advice. What happens when you have a plethora of workers who can no longer produce? What happens, gentlemen, when you have COVID come and the majority of the female workforce is gone in the blink of an eye? Now you have a massive burden, a, max, a massive amount of worker bees who cannot pay taxes. It's very simple, gentlemen. Go over to Home Math and he will show you all the diagrams. Very similar to what we're talking about here. He does little scribbly scr uh, sketches. I'm not kidding, guys. You're going to see the breakdown of everything. Now, his biggest problem, you guys already know I know his weakness before he even knows it. He's, he's got a girlfriend, a Western girlfriend. You already know where that's going. Shout out to him, though. I do not wish his downfall at all. But unfortunately, he picked incorrectly, and he's going to learn. But his diagrams are spot on. His diagrams are spot on. Shout out to him. Once that financial backing goes, AWs are screwed. Donkey punch that like button as you guys come in. And I appreciate it. So what about the whole luxury? What about the whole luxury argument? I want luxury. I deserve now, a lot of guys are going to tell the AWs that they don't deserve it and all this stuff. You can tell them to your blue in the face, gentlemen. They're still going to say that they deserve it because they want payment. They want reparations for the pain that Chadwick Fairbanks, like myself, and Tyronius Maximus put them through. They want payment for their pain. They want to unleash the fury on guys who hurt them. They want payback. 
And they're going to get it one way or another. Holy mother of God, is that a goddamn dragonfly? A big-ass dragon, dead-ass dragonfly. Donkey punch that like button. I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you, gentlemen. Yes. <laughs> My poor AWs. So what are AWs going to do when they don't get their luxury? They're going to throw tantrums. They're going to, guys, you see this corner right here? And I've talked about this before. In five years, this corner is going to be littered with little, little Kayleys. And they're going to ask you, Lou, they're going to ask you, Men's Daily Advice, for help. They're going to ask you for attention. They are going to try to pay you for attention in various ways, shapes, and forms. I'm not exaggerating, gentlemen. And how can this be true, you ask? Because, gentlemen, to my legionnaires, men are leaving at unprecedented rates. Unprecedented. Unprecedented. It's not even funny. Guys are just disappearing. They are saying, I want nothing to do with this chaotic nuttiness. There's no rules, so I'm out. And the problem is your average AW keeps asking the same stupid question. Where are all the good men? You said you don't need a man, so they left. Do you get it, dummy? You said it over. I don't need them. They're this. Whoa. I almost slipped. I don't need a man. What do you think guys are going to do? Okay, don't need us. Sounds great. We'll go where we're needed. And then you complain when guys leave and upgrade. Oh, that's right. You're effing jealous. Well, be jealous, ladies. Too bad. You lose again. Do you see how, gentlemen, there is no winning for AWs? There's only winning for you. If you're in a, a below average guy, let's say you're a five foot tall dude and you have no confidence and you're complete, you got no jawline and you're just, you know, you're a bag of bones and you're just playing video games all day. You never had a girlfriend. I know this sounds crazy, but you're actually doing better than the average AW. And you may think I'm crazy and you may say, well, I envy you. You know, you hooked up with a ton of chicks and all. I had this one dude, he told me, he's like, man, that sounds like fun. I'm like, bro, it was not fun. You think hooking up with a bunch of chicks is fun? It is not. It is a goddamn nightmare. It is an absolute nightmare. I don't care how pretty they are. I don't care if she's a cool chick. I don't care if she's got the biggest you-know-what's on the planet. I don't care if guys are drooling every time you walk by her. She is going to make you pay, son. Whether you like it or not. Because she wants payment. She wants a relationship. She wants something out of this. It's called brief faults law. Look it up. She's going to get her payment one way or another. And if you're not giving it to her, then she is going to make sure you pay in the end. She's going to mangle your car. She's going to try to ruin your professional life, your personal life. It doesn't matter because she wants her payment. Sanity, time, energy, attention, or money. Which one are you going to choose, son? You're going to pay. I don't care how good looking you are. Guys, you can be. Don't matter. The girl at my work is probably about half my age. And she is very attracted to me. Guys, I know when a woman's attracted to me, okay? I got experience. And she stares at me. And when she walks by me, I can smell that those pheromones. And she kind of gets nervous. And she try, you know, she doesn't know what to do. Why am I bringing this up? Because, gentlemen. She wants something from me beyond sex. You know what I'm talking about. She wants something. You're going to pay, sir. And to my AWs, you're going to pay the highest price. Because you screwed up. You thought you could not provide anything. And guys would just go along with it. And they're saying, no thanks. Donkey punch that like button as you come in. And then you send me emails. <laughs> oh, why don't you have to talk about this stuff and make it reality? Ugh. Guys, you know what type of emails I get from chicks? <laughs> it's either you're an a-hole or it's, oh, why? Oh, oh, why do you have to do these streams and tell guys to go overseas? Where, there's good women here. I'm right here. Ugh. 
Why do you want those young? It's just complaint after complaint. You want to know what's funny to my AWs out there who actually have boyfriends and have husbands? Don't you punch that like button. It's funny because you send me messages like, thank you for such and such because me and my husband listen to watch you and all this. Other, and I'm like, hey. I'm like, awesome. Oh, crap. That dog's good. The crap. <laughs> what is with dogs and cars? I never understood that, but okay. Guys, we're going out to the golf course today. My legs are a little rubbery. <laughs> AW with cats and box wine. Yeah, the cats and box wine is just the beginning, gentlemen. That's just the beginning. You want to know what's coming after that? Oh, boy. It's going to be the big back massagers. Guys, you ever seen those massive back massagers? It looks like a goddamn wand. It looks like this. See this big-ass pole? It looks like this big-ass pole. <laughs> those back massagers, they don't use them on their back. And they vibrate and stuff. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this porker. Jesus Christ, bitch. Sweetheart, you need to get to the gym. You are fat. God. Oh, I don't want to see that. Jesus. Rosal and pork belly. Freaking Rosal. Let's go to the left, guys. I don't want to be around people today. I'm feeling very antisocial. <laughs> yeah, I love the crying. <laughs> Every time a girl cries to me, I try not to laugh. I'm always trying not to laugh. <laughs> Let's see if I can manipulate Paul with my tears. It's not working. Oh, yeah, gentlemen. I have way too much experience. That's my biggest problem. Men's daily advice. Uh, damn. Winner's Legion channel is saving marriages in the Matrix. Well, yeah. J uh, look, man. You're going to have your, your, your pluses and minuses to this channel. My channel, the biggest weakness of my channel, it's never going to be very, very big mainstream. It's just not going to happen because I refuse to bend the knee. Never going to happen. It'll get like moderate, but it'll never be like mainstream. Watch the irony as it becomes mainstream. Oh, my God. Then I got to start dealing with the uh, sycophants and fans stalking me and all this nonsense. That's exactly what I don't need, but whatever. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, Jesus Christ. Guys, I am the least celebritized person. Y you want to know why? Because for me, gentlemen, I grew up in Los Angeles, which is the home of the average celebrity. Isn't that? That's kind of an oxymoron, the average celebrity. Oh, there's too many fat people in this course. This guy's like staring at me. What are you staring at, bud? Okay, then I'm going to go this way. F you. I'll go this way. No, I'll go this way. I don't know which way to go right now. I grew up in Los Angeles where... <laughs> It's the home of the celebrity. A lot of celebrities live in LA. And I do not want to be a celebrity. <laughs> and why the hell am I doing this channel, you ask? Because, gentlemen, I knew I had to, I owe, I have to pay it back. I have to pay it back because I screwed up for so many years. This is my penance. I am paying for what I did for all those years hooking up with chicks. This is my, this is my, uh, what is it called? Uh, it's not only my penance, but it's also how I'm going to uh, be redeemed. It's my redemption. Now, you guys are probably thinking, what the hell are you even talking about? Gentlemen, I was at Chadwick Fairbanks for many years, and it didn't help. Donkey punch that like button. Hit me. Six pack abs, hooking up with tons of chicks, being a dumbass, not studying, not working multiple jobs, being a retard. And these effing dating roaches who have absolutely zero experience are going to tell you that you need to go out here and do this stuff and ruin your life. Wrong, son. I don't care if you're above average, dude. I don't care if you're below average. Whatever man you are, you could be, you could be a six foot five Tyronius Maximus with a BBC and, you know, all that stuff. You start going down that path, son, you are going to pay. You are going to pay the ultimate price. You were going to waste time, energy, attention, money, and your sanity. God, why can't I just get away from all this freaking noise today? I'm getting upset. Goddamn noise everywhere. Stupid ass dogs. Now I'm getting irritable. <sighs> freaking A. You're going to pay, son, with time, and that is my penance. That's why I have to do this. I have to get on here and make sure that you guys get your stuff together and you win and you don't go down the path 
to failure. That is why I do this. I'm not joking. Anyway. Reverend Kevin Powell, your act of control. And I hit the freaking like uh, the, the mute button. Sorry about that. <sighs> your act of contrition. Yes, contrition. Gentlemen, to my legionnaires, would your lives be better if you were to get nines and tens left and right? Be honest with me. I'm serious. I'm asking you a big question. Now, don't just think with your you know what. I want you to tell me, would your lives be, let's say you were walking around and there were just fields of Kayleys right here. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Reverend Kevin Powell. Hi. Ha ha ha. Oh my God. You're so hot. Let's say you were getting nines and tens left and right. Would your life be that much better? <sighs> contrition, the state of feeling remorseful and penitent. To show contrition for his crime, he offered to do community service. The repentance of past sins during or after confession. An act of contrition. I like that. I've heard the word. I just haven't used it enough. Deeply felt remorse. Penitence. Yes. This is my penance, gentlemen. This is my act of contrition. I have to do this. I don't have a choice. I do have a choice, but I don't. Hit that like button as you come in. Yeah, exactly. All the goofballs just jumped out of here. Because you're out here thinking your nines and tens are going to save your ass. You're just as dumb as the AWs who think, who think that somehow they're going to get a high value dude. You're just as stupid, son, because you are looking for pain. You are looking for pain. You are looking to hurt yourself. I'm going to hook up with a bunch of chicks. I wish I had been 16 years old and had some dude asking me these goddamn questions. You know what? If I was 16, year old, 16 years old and some dude asked me, hey, man, what are you trying to get from chicks? And I said, oh, man, I'm trying to hook up. And then he asked me, what are you actually going to get from him after you hook up? What do you think is going to happen? I would say something stupid like, I don't know. And then I would be screwed. Because then I would think as a 16-year-old boy, you know what? Shit, what am I going to get after that? What's going to happen to me? And then that old man says, or asks, you know, how often is she going to stalk you? How often is she going to want more from you and distract you? And then I would ask something stupid like, would distract me from what? I got nothing. <laughs> I'm a goofball. I'm a 16-year-old. I'm a, I'm a douchebag. I'm getting tall and handsome, and now chicks are chasing after me. <laughs> and then that old man would ask me, okay, so what are you going to get after that? What's going to happen to your life? What are your dreams, son? And I would say something stupid like, you know, I'm not quite sure, but I think something. And then that old man would ask me, well, what's more important, son, your dreams or that chick? Answer honestly. And as a 16-year-old kid, I would have to think about that and start to get my act together. And maybe I'd make a couple mistakes along the way and hook up with some dumb thoughts, but I would actually have some dreams. Uh, some freaking personal and business dreams. That's what I'm getting at. That's my act of service for you. All of you guys, I don't care how old you are. You can be 65. It's irrelevant. Your personal and per, uh, business purpose are everything. The ladies will come and go left and right. They will be here and then they will leave and then they'll come back and then they'll leave. And some of them who are traditional, you'll be able to settle down with spectacular. The liberal ones ain't staying anywhere. Donkey punch that like button as you come in. 
What is your dream, son? Oh, you know, I want to kind of, I want to be a baseball player. How many days are you practicing? How many hours are you practicing, son? Oh, sh oh, oh, oh. I want to be a millionaire. Oh, really? What's your business plan? What are you doing? Well, I got time. I'm only 16. I would say something stupid like that. And then that old man would kick me up, smack me upside my dumbass head and say, and ask, son, how much time do you really have in this life to make something happen? How many kids are ahead of you and kicking the crap out of you? Where's your fire, son? Where is your intensity? Where is your desire? And I'd go, oh crap, this crazy old man is right. I got no desire. I got no intensity and everybody's ahead of me. And here I am sucking my thumb. Exactly. So I'll tell you... Dating roach, goofballs, you freaking thumb sucking. This is you. To my dating roaches out there, this is you. <laughs> sucking your thumb. That's you. You've got no idea what you're doing. And you are going to ruin these guys' lives. Mr. I'm high value. Mr. Keep working on yourself. You have no idea what you're doing. You have no plan. Failing to plan is planning to fail. That is is you, Mr. Dating Roach. You're the exact same as the AWs and you're going to pay. It's all going to come back. Now, what does this have to do with the topic at hand? Because, gentlemen, do you want to win in this life or do you want to be an AW losing every day, sucking your thumb like a child? And if that old man had asked me all that at age 16, gentlemen, I would have been on a completely different path and traje trajectory. I would have became a baseball player. At least minor leagues. At the very least, what is it? Uh, double A, triple A ball. At the very least. Because I would have got off my ass and said, what is the effing point of getting a stupid nine when I can't even afford her? Sanity, time, energy, attention, money. Oh, I'm a dating roach. <laughs> dating coach, dating. Here's what you do. Don't listen to this goofball. Don't listen to this guy. <laughs> He's on crack. <laughs> you need to be high value, bro. Here's what you do, bro. You got to get six pack abs. <laughs> and then what you got to do is six get six figures. <laughs> and then what you got to do <laughs> is you got to get a man cave. <laughs> and get a wife like me. I've been married for 30 years. And then we're going to teach you. Oh. <sighs> anyway, we got to calm down. There's a bunch of people in front of me, and they're going to think I'm a mental patient. Gentlemen, you don't want some 220 pound, six foot plus freaking white dude with massive calves <laughs> barreling down on you, shouting at the top of his lungs. It's a little unsettling. It's like, oh, Jesus, this guy's a mental patient. <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay let's see if they, okay let's calm down guys okay we'll go back we we'll need this guy alone. he looks he, he looks calm let's go in the other direction you want to know something guys let's go up the field let's go up that see this field over here it's right next to this uh water filtration system we're gonna go up the hill okay calm down if there had been some old man and he'd asked me all these questions at age 16 my brain would have been blown i would have gone what the f personal purpose and i would have asked the old man i would have said what do you mean old man personal purpose what are you here for on this planet son why are you here what are you going to do with your life when are you going to figure it out and i would have said something stupid at age 16. well you know oh, i'm, I'm kind of young and i don't know oh, i'm hooking up with this chick <laughs> And the old man would have said, okay, so what is that chick going to bring to your life? And I would have said something stupid like, I don't know. These are the conversations your dads have never had with you, son. To my Gen Zers, Gen Alpha, even Millennials, nobody's asked you these questions. Yeah, sometimes they're rhetorical. But a lot of times it's to figure out what you're going to do. When these AWs come after you, because they're coming for you, gentlemen, they are going to be littered on this golf course. See this golf course right here? There's going to be, ah, you know, ah, ah. Paul, hi, bye. 
standing at my desk waiting for me. Freaking receptionist at my work. She comes up to my desk just standing there. Like, what the hell are you doing? I just wanted to say hi. What are you gentlemen going to Oh, I don't get women. I'm too ugly, bro. So what? So the F what? Well, it's a butterfly. Hold on, I gotta get up this hill. How's it going? I gotta get a golf cart like this. And then I'll just be having a good old time. Ah, my hips are a little tired. I did deadlifts yesterday. So what are you gonna do, gentlemen? What are you gonna do, Legionnaires? You're gonna put you gonna suck that thumb? What are you gonna do? I'm not even kidding. Are you gonna keep sucking your thumb or are you gonna figure things out? How's it going? Or are you gonna pay later on like my dumbass? Hmm? You're gonna be paying, son. You are gonna pay. How many Chadwicks have jumped on this channel and told me I was a Tyronius and I hooked up with a ton of chicks and I regret it. They're not going to tell it. These dating roaches aren't going to tell you this stuff, son, because you want to know why? Because it's better to make you pay now to get money from you now. There's no money in my channel, gentlemen. There's no money in this business telling you the truth and asking you what the truth is. Not even telling you, asking you what the truth is. There's no money in that. Sure, I'll get a clarity call. Eventually. There's no money in this crap. And the reason for it is because the solution requires your effort, not mine. Not some stupid course. Not some goofball anecdotes and, you know, high value and all these stupid buzzwords and redefining of things. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with you guys winning. I can make a crap load of money selling you courses that will keep you a loser. A lot of money in that. No money in what I'm doing. Now, eventually, eventually, I'm going to get my inner circle and they all prop me up and I'll prop them up and they push me up higher, etc., etc. Right? You have a legion of winners. That's different. There's no freaking instant gratification money in this crap. What the hell was that? <laughs> Jesus, I hope nobody's taking shots at me. I heard a pop. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You hit <laughs> This is Texas, baby. You got to be careful. People are armed. <laughs> Hell, you got dating roaches fresh and F. Getting chicks pregnant and trying to figure out how to spit game to his chick to get rid of the new kid. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> yeah, I saw. There are several new videos out there on this talk topic. It's crazy. Man. Guys, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm asking you. I'm not going to tell you anything. I'm going to ask you guys. If you were to get nines and tens right now, lined up, chasing you down, what are you going to do? Hmm? Are you going to take the bait? It's not a trick question. Are you going to take the, the bait, men's daily advice? Chicks that you find so hot and that are beating down your door. Are you going to take the bait or are you going to figure out that your purpose comes first? There's no right or wrong answer. It's a question of how do you want to pay? And then what does that have to do with providing and AW is wanting you to provide? Because gentlemen, when you say no to all that crap, you're telling AWs one very clear thing, one clear message. What are you telling them? I don't want anything to do with you. I am not going to work my ass off 
and then get with somebody who completely takes everything I've got just because she's having a bad day. You're bitter and hurt. Who's more bitter and hurt than you, A.W.? Mad at the world. Mad because she got used. Where a bunch of nice guys give you the ick. Too bad. <sighs> Donkey punch the like button as you come in. You see how this content isn't for everybody, gentlemen? This requires accountability. Mr. F and F over here talking about, oh, you need to be responsible. Who's more irresponsible than those two goofballs? No offense. To F and F, I think their business acumen is spot on. Personally, they're making some crazy decisions. Am I going to say that they're terrible? Of course not. Oh, that is a big-ass grasshopper. Not at all. I think their business acumen is spot on. Personally, I don't agree with a lot of it, but their business acumen, spectacular. Would I debate them? Mm. Maybe. Maybe I would. Mainly because... There, uh, because there's certain parts of it. Like before I said I would never go on these shows and debate them. I would debate them. But I, they would have to keep it civil. As long as they stay on the topic, then I'm cool with that. You know? Things like that. Guys, I'm not calling them out. What I'm getting at is there's going to be flaws to what they're doing. There's flaws to all of our systems. But theirs are going to be extraordinarily flawed because they're still dealing with AWs. They're still dealing with westernization. As much as they complain, they're still dealing with it. And there's going to be a massive price for that. That's the problem. I don't want to pay the price that they're paying. And that's where I respect them. They're going to pay a massive price. Now, maybe they know it, maybe they don't. But they're going to pay a much larger price than me. There's always a cost, gentlemen. Whether you see it or not, it's coming. And that's what the AWs are going to understand with all of this. The price of them not bringing anything to be to the table is going to be their very existence. Ouch. When AW Koreans say, oh, ethanism in Korea, we don't want to deal with Korean men, so we're going to go ahead and not birth any more children. And what we're going to do is bring down all Koreans, and we're going to go extinct. Do you see the genius logic there? The brilliance? <laughs> How bitter and hurt. Not very bright. I forgot to bring my camel back. Whoops. I should have brought my camel pack so I can drink one. This is getting hotter out, gentlemen. It's only like 80 something. It's not terrible, but you got to make sure that you got water. I know a lot of guys want to act tough and. What the hell? And you're out permanently. So <sighs> sometimes athletes go out in the, on these crazy treks and. There's little leaves. Guys, there's little leaves over there. See? Shh, guys. They're like deer. If you stay still, they'll kind of, they can't see you. The little giggliness. Two little leaves over there. <laughs> they were cute. Very cute. So, when women re refuse to provide anything, what happens? Guys move on. Ouch. Damn, my feet. Stepped on a big ass rock. And when guys move on, they go to people. Okay, put the like button as you come in, gentlemen. So your average traditional foreign woman now sees these AWs acting like brats and rebelling, and they don't understand. And they say, holy cow, I can get a good Western man. I have a couple more options. I'll take it. And then the traditional foreign woman is now completely enthralled. It's funny because yesterday, this Japanese woman 
who's in her early 50s comes in, gentlemen. And she's no taller than five feet tall. And she doesn't may weigh any more than 95 pounds. And here she is talking about how great her husband is. My husband, he is so good to me. If I want something, he, he will get it for me. And I love him. And here she is at my job telling me about how, sp how special he is and how she wants to look pretty for him and how she's going to do whatever. To and I'm thinking in my head, and she has like, I think she had one kid, fully grown. And this woman is just the happiest little Japanese. And she smelled, she's just feminine and she's smiling. And, and I'm thinking in my head, here's this gentle little Japanese. And she just can't stop commending her husband and he works so hard and he gives me a great life and I could tell that she came from a small town and here she is being taken care of and she cannot give enough to her husband because he is providing see this is the biggest irony that you AWs don't understand what happens AWs when you raise your price through the stratosphere and some traditional foreign woman comes along and says, you know what? I'm prettier than most of these AWs. I'm thinner than most of these AWs. And I got a better attitude. And I will love this American man more than anything on this planet. I'll give him everything I got. And I'm not letting him go anywhere. What do you think happens, AWs? Today is the day of the open-ended question. I'm going to start asking open-ended questions to all of you. So you can give me a response. What's going to happen when you say all these guys are broke and dusty and even the high value guys don't add up and they're, they're too arrogant and you keep complaining. What do you think's happening, stupid? What do you think is happening when you have a hotter, younger, fitter, happier, better model who has more skills than you? Oh, you're going to deflect and say that you're a keto pedo and... You know, they can't measure up. Oh, I got bad news for you. Wrong. Because these little Thais, these little Japaneses and Filipinas and Chineseses, they're coming in here with thunder. They are coming here with the, unleash the fury. They're coming in here and they're taking your men. They're migrating here. I met this little Chineseses, this tiny little Chinese. She was so cute. With the tight guys, you know, I love the little, they're just adorable. She's probably like an LA6. She had a little button nose, a cute little heart shaped face. She's so cute. She's also pretty, a little dimple. And she's like, she's like, my name is Jayeen. And I would like to inquire if I couldn't get. She was at my work and she, because I work in sales. And she's got this little rocking body and it's just, she's like, I am fat like a pig. <laughs> she giggles. And I'm thinking in my head, this girl is like 99% better than your average Western lazy fat AW, wheezing with her massive belly and just, you know what? I'm getting pretty sick and tired of you like this guy. I, my name's Roslyn Corkley. And what I'm going to do, see what I'm going to do, oh, I'm going to pick up some leaves off the ground. What I'm going to do is lo use little crystals. I'm going to turn the crystals. And maybe I'll, I'll suck on the crystals, kind of like a gobstopper. And then what I'm going to do is eat the crystal. Because I'm manifesting high value with all my chins. And all the fat on my lungs. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is go down to Costco. And I'm going to get several of the free peaches. And then I'm going to tell you to go to hell, Mr. Lightyear's guy, because I don't care if you want some little leg leg, okay? You want a little leg leg, that's your problem. <sighs> you want to get her visa, and she's going to get a green card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got bad news for you, Rosalind Pork Belly. They don't want green cards. They don't want to move to our country because they know they got to deal with bees like you. Oh, damn. 
<laughs> it's that type of channel. Go ahead and duck and push the like button. <laughs> That's what's going to happen, AWs. Your demands are going to be falling on deaf ears. Even the sips are not going to be able to save you. Damn, I'm getting thirsty. I'm going to get a... I'm, guys, I, I keep forgetting. Camel pack. Camel pack. Big ass can I'm going to be sucking on the water as we go around town. I can feel my lips getting dry. <sighs> so, as mass immigration comes, as AWs are ousted from their petards after they are kicked down from Olympus and they hit every ugly branch on the way down, you know what's going to happen to my AWs, unfortunately. What do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen as these women migrate here or stay in their country? What do you think is going to happen? And they actually have green cards and they're here and they're taking your men. What is your excuse going to be now? You're going to say things like, well, those girls are just stupid. They don't know any better. That's going to be your stupid excuse. Well, they're just, they don't know what type of trash is here. Men are this and men are that. And what's going to happen when those girls stay with these men for 10, 20, 30 years and don't leave and they're happy? What are you going to do then? Nothing. Do you see how you're screwed? There is no winning for you, AWs, at all. Every which way you turn is a loss until you get your thumb out of your you-know-what and you start getting focused. Too late. Bye bye. Bye bye. You hear that bird? That's gonna be you. Bye bye. Ah. Do you predict more dating roaches, pickup artists, Christian bros, pastors, female life coaches, and matchmakers will apologize even more to the past bros, bros in the future, or will they double down? Well, guys, first they're gonna double down because they're still making money. They're going to keep doubling down as they lose money. And then after all the money is dried up, then they will start apologizing. <laughs> but they're going to start blaming you first. It's those passport bros that ruin my business. Gentlemen, losers think alike. Legionnaires, losers have one thing in common. One very, what do losers have in common? To my legionnaires, what do losers have in common? Write it in the comment section. You know what it is. Give it to me. Men's Daily Vice. Wow, he said kick down from Olympus. Correct. They're going to hit every uh, ugly branch on the way down. Reverend Kevin Powell is laughing his ass off. What's the common denominator between all losers? To my legionnaires. To my trolls out there, what is the common denominator? What links every loser together on this planet? Everybody who fails, everybody who deflects. Hmm? I'm not going to answer that for you, gentlemen, until you give me answers out here. Give me a couple answers. Oh, dang, guys. Oh, shh. There's like a, a marmot. Uh, what do they call like a... What the hell are those things? Yeah, with the, a mongoose, mongoose. It looked marmot, mongoose-ish. Maybe both. I don't know what the hell that was. He was, was bouncing around. Oh. There he goes. What is the common denominator for every loser on this planet? Why do losers keep losing? What is the reason for this? I'm going to leave you guys with that question and you can answer me. And I will let you know. But until AWs fix this, until dating roaches and simps, Pastor boys and all them fix this. You know what's happening? Jack shit. Donkey punch the like button as you come in. They're going to continue to lose. They're going to continue to complain. Ooh, the men are leaving in there. They don't want it. How come nobody wants me? Well, hey, F you. Victim, attack. Victim, attack. And all the while, the little traditional foreign women are going to come over here and shuffle in with their tiny little white shoes because they're ultra cute. And they're going to say things like, oh, papito, you are so sweet to me. I'm from Colombia and I love you. You're just incredible. See, that's what you AWs don't understand. How much do traditional foreign women love men and you don't? Ouch. Because you were burnt. Ouch. Because your dad didn't give you any rules. 
You're my princess. Oh, whatever you say, I'll never say no to you. Anyway. They blame others for their failings. Reverend Kevin Powell is the genius of the day. We are going to make you the legionnaire of the day. Thank you, Reverend Kevin Powell. You are the legionnaire of the day. You are the legionnaire of the entire freaking week. I'm going to make you a moderator, Kevin Powell. There you go. Thank you, sir. You moderate these dumb mother effers. If they come in here, if they give you attitude, you tell them to F off. You tell them to kick rocks. You got your Nigerian wife. What is going on with my stupid sun hat? Look at that. What is this? What is this? It's a straw hat, so it kind of... I don't like that. What the hell's going on with my straw? I don't like that. LMIO, I can't believe you said Olympus. Yes, down. They're going to smack every ugly and stupid tree on the way down. Every branch on the way down. Donkey punch the like button to my lead. Let me say hello to my neighbors. How's it going, neighbor? He is waving back at me because they love us over here. And you know what the traditional foreign women are going to do? They're going to say, oh, I love you, papito. You're so sweet to me. And the African girls are going to, they're going to be straight from the continent of Africa. And they're, they're from Nigeria. And they're going to take care of you. Mr. Reverend Kevin Powell with your Nigerian sweetheart. Who knows she needs to provide for her man so her man can make money so then he can provide for her and then she can make him food and clean up the house and make sure everything is in order so he can provide for her and the family and he'll give her anything she wants. Don't you get it, AWs? Do you use your pea brains ever? How the hell is he supposed to provide for you when you're making his life a living hell? Get it through your skulls. I just asked you an open-ended question. You can't even answer that. That's why traditional foreign women are coming here and kicking the crap out of you. Donkey punch the like button as you come in. Oh, you're being a mute. Ab, one, two, three, four, Yusuf. That's horrible. I don't need to do anything. Sure. But we don't need to do anything either. Ouch. Stupid. Thank you, kind sir. Of course, to my legionnaires, I am rewarding everybody because I want you guys to win. He said, Olympus, I am dying. I'm thinking about the gods watching them fall down hard. Been with the Kenyan in Uganda. They know their place down there and they are fun too. Eddie Powell, I agree with you a thousand percent. I was with the Nigerian woman. She was spectacular. I was with a freaking, what was she? Ken Kenyan? No, no, no. Wait a minute. Not Kenyan. Guys, oh God. I'm getting old, guys. What the hell was she? I'll remember, but she was spectacular. She was from this country in Africa, and I could not believe how nice she was. She was just sweet. I was like, what the hell? She already lived here in the West, and she had all of this happiness. Ah. <sighs> and she told me about her country, and she made her food for me and she was like showing she's like yes we have all this and she was just she was an amazing woman i was i could not believe how tra these traditional foreign women it just it just blew me away guys could not believe it they're so similar from continent to continent doesn't matter if they're from the continent of africa doesn't matter if they're from the eurasian continent doesn't matter if they're from the south American region, right? Latin America is actually a region. South America is actually a continent. My bad, guys. You know what I mean. <laughs> anyway. Abel Stevenson, doing college on the Constitution. It appears that the guy is spending all the money on irrelevant stuff rather than putting in actual work to fix the dating issue. Ah. That the government, oh, government is spending all the money on the relevant stuff. Of course, because again, guys, to my Abel Stevenson, the reason why the government is spending money on this is because they are trying to fix the ethnism problem. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, what they're going to do is they're going to put money after the AWs lose all of their profitability. See, get, uh, I'm going to make it real simple, guys, on government structure. Legis uh, legislative uh, branch, the executive judici judicial branch, they need taxpayers. 
When the AWs lose their taxpayer status because they are no longer viable, that's why they keep upping the retirement age. When they lose taxpayer status and they are no longer producers, and they don't have children to reproduce, where do you think the government's pushing their money? Mass immigration. Mass immigration. That's where the big families come from. That's where more taxpayers come from. You see what I mean? That's why, gentlemen, they are trying to get, they're attempting to get the American population to 1 billion by the year, I think, 2050, 2060. Don't quote me on that. Because now they have more taxpayers, you see? And that's where AWs will be obsolete. That's why they're letting in more Chinese, more Indians, more Hispanics from many different regions. They want the highest producers so they can get maximum tax dollars. Oh, AWs aren't producing, gentlemen. That was the biggest mistake by the government, is thinking they could divide and make AWs producers when in all reality they weren't. They're not getting a return on their investment. She's already prepared to make things easier for me so I can provide and protect and do the things necessary to ensure our family will be properly set for success. I'm shocked, Reverend Kevin Powell. I'm shocked that your Nigerian sweetheart is being... Let me, let me guess, Reverend Kevin Powell, she stays in shape. Am I right? She actually stays fit. She's actually feminine. She probably has a nice body. Right? She's traditional. She wants to support her man so she can elevate and have a great family. And she probably smiles a lot. Just throw, just, just taking a shot in the dark. Men's Daily Vice. There was a dating roach in Britain that was in an interview and he admitted that when he landed in Russia, he found an ultra-feminine woman that put him in the position to quit being a dating roach. I'm shocked. Men's Daily Vice. Uh, my poor dating roaches, you have no idea what you're doing. You are all my sons. So the dating roaches out there, you are all my sons. To my life coaches out there, you are my sons. You are my daughters. You know nothing. You know what Jon Snow knows. Nothing. You know nothing. You never will. Because you are arrogant. Because you are not humble. Because what is a dating roach anyway? What is a life roach? What is a relationship roach? It's someone who doesn't have any answers. Only questions. Ouch. <laughs> <sighs> You're arrogant, bro. You're cocky. Gentlemen, I have way too much experience. That's my problem. That is my cross to bear. That is my burden, not yours. Hit that like button as you come in. I have too much experience. That's my problem. You don't want as much experience as me, guys. It is a curse. It is a blessing and a curse. It is the worst. Because now, guess what? I have to carry the burden of everybody. And that's this is this is my penance, gentlemen. Hooking up with way too many chicks. Way too many. And no, I don't necessarily have massive body counts like AMS or who's the other dude? Trans Anthony, whatever the hell that guy's name is. That guy's a freaking mental patient, but I learned my lesson, guys. I'm paying my price. <laughs> God damn. Pay it every day. I spent decades chasing chicks, decades hooking up, decades falling behind, decades being a dumbass. And I'm going to spend a long, long, long time catching up. It may take the rest of my life. That's another reason why, for me, children just aren't in the cards. I pay... I'm paying dearly. A family is not in the cards. I'm paying dearly. You guys have that opportunity. Don't be like me. Do not fail like I did. I screwed up. I hooked up with too many chicks. <sighs> Penance. The penitent man will pass. Absolutely. Reverend Kevin Powell, Eddie Powell. Load of liberal AWs trying to get with us European men now too. Oh, pff. I'm not shocked, Eddie Powell. I'm not, sh I'm not shocked at all. Ireland actually has some conservative women, and their divorce rate is the lowest in the EU, if I'm not mistaken. It is very, very low. Eddie Powell's out in Ireland. 
But the AWs are coming. Gentlemen, they are coming for you. They are waiting for you on that street corner. You see that street corner right there? It's not really a corner, but they're coming for you. They're coming for you. You think I'm, you are in such high demand, it's scary. And I'm not doing that to kiss your guys' asses. You know that. I don't even kiss my own ass. What makes you think I'm going to kiss your ass? <laughs> they're coming for you, gentlemen. They're going to make you pay. You're going to listen. With their freaking trapezoid smiles, like carrot trapezoid cockbender. You're going to listen. <sighs> <laughs> Sounded like a goddamn gremlin from the f friggin' 1980s. Uh, who is Trans Anthony? I'm dying laughing over here. I almost spilled my drink. Uh, he's 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 that one dude, that dating roach. He's freaking weird, he, guys. He's a weirdo. He's got kind of like a dad bod, but kind of like a very goatee. He's just weird, man. Now shout out to him, his business acumen, but personally, freaking weirdo. <laughs> I don't know him personally, but the, his behavior is very bizarre. I don't know. Look, you could, you could say the same about me. I'm a freaking maniac, but I don't know. It's just... <laughs> Coach Greg Adams, shout out to him. Pretty cool dude. He's pretty normal. He's very introverted, though, I can tell. You know, he's... Uh, but, you know, again, some, some of the guys in the space are going to be very, very bizarre. Okay, I got to run down the hill, guys, because it's going to get freaking... It's going to get... Uh, it's going to get crazy in a second. Stupid ass hill. Hold on a sec, guys. I got to run down the hill because there's like a dead spot here. I forgot his full name, something. I'm just making fun of him. He's just that weirdo. Freaking Cretan. I'm going to run down the stupid hill without going to bring a kid, Anthony. Something. He's a freaking weirdo. There's a, guys, there's a couple dating roaches out there that are really... They're really laughable. And they're, you know what's funny to the dating roaches out there? I'm not the only one that makes fun of you. These chicks just laugh at you. A -W, this is where I'm together with the AWs. AWs. So my American women, I am with you a thousand percent. That dating roach has got to go. It's funny because this is, you know, you're, even your enemies, you're going to, you know, you're going to line up with them on certain, uh, certain, topics most women can't stand dating roaches they really can't they laugh at you goofballs they make fun of you behind your back they're constantly tittering now you may come at me and say well they make fun of you bro well pfft. but when they meet me in person they like to kiss my ass that's for sure they got respect for see here's the problem to my dating roaches they don't respect nobody respects you Nobody respects a thirsty man, and you're thirsty. You know you are. Ah, anyway. Yeah. He's, he's <laughs> There's a couple of them. So anyway, but yeah, AWs respect me. And by the way, gentlemen, I have been disrespected by AWs, but I don't tolerate that crap. Wave at me. That's right. Better wave. Men's Daily Vice. I can believe a Rus Russian Eastern European feminine woman humbled a dating roach forced him to question continuing being a dating roach in Britain because she was so feminine and cooperative. Yes, if he has conservative values. But if he's a liberal dating roach, she's going to be terrified of her and she's going to eat him for breakfast. Gentlemen, traditional foreign women are not weak. They are 100% stronger than Western women. Now, you're probably asking yourself, well, why is that? Why do you think traditional women are stronger? To all my legionnaires out there, why do you think traditional foreign women are stronger than Western women? It's a good question, huh? Why do you think that they are stronger? How are they stronger? Don't you punch the like button as you can. How are traditional foreign women stronger than Western women? Hmm. Come on. I know you guys know the answer to this. <laughs> I just ima imagined a wall that busted full of roaches as you said that. That is funny. Are Canadian women safe or same? Uh, Canadian women are just as bad, gentlemen. I'm sorry. To my Canadian girls out there, and I've had, I've met Canadian girls. They're very nice. But again, we're getting back to the same victimization problem. They're not as bad as like LA chicks or New York, but it's it's... <sighs> 
to my Canadian girls out there, you know I love you, but I don't love you. <laughs> it's just, I'm not <laughs> new. This one uh, Canadian girl I used to work with years ago, <laughs> I used to call her Strange Brew. <laughs> I would used to come up to her and I'd be like, Brew, Strange Brew. I'd get all in her face and she would giggle and stuff. There's a little bit of sexual chemistry, sexual chemistry there, but uh, yeah, Canadian girls, guys, is, is, it's just an AW repackaged. All she does is say A and, uh, you know, uh, what was the other stuff that they say? A boot and uh, Boston. And, you know, they've got that kind of, they're nice, but they're, they're still, at the end of the day, gentlemen, when you get romantic with them, you know what you're getting. A lot of anger and a lot of victimization. Perpetual victimhood. I'm a victim. <sighs> There's a bunch of roaches out here. They tend to have more conservative and have strong ethics and values. Yes, Reverend Kevin Pell. Yes. I think that's very, very telling, Reverend Kevin Pell. They have strong conservative ethics and values, and they are not wavering. And when they have those, what happens? They don't settle for F boys and scumbags and drug dealers and prison inmates. A traditional foreign woman would never subject herself to being a thought. They have discipline, Reverend Kevin Powell. Thank you for that. They have discipline. They do not wear scumbag attire. They do not wear skanky attire and then complain about being seen as a 304. Boo effing who? Try not to shout, guys, because this microphone will not take me shouting at the top of my lungs. And I don't want people chiming in. Hey, shut up, bro. Anyway. They have discipline. They do not give in to temptation. They do not bite the apple in the Garden of Eden. They understand who they are. Traditional foreign women have an identity. Traditional foreign women have a purpose. That's why they're stronger. They're not deviating. Oh, here he goes again. Oh. <laughs> Bro. You just need to be alpha, bro. You need to be alpha, bro. You need to be jacked all the time, bro. You need to flex all the time, bro, and have masculine fr See this, bro? See that right there in my traps, bro? You need to be 220 pounds. You need to flex your muscles all the time, bro, and have masculine frame and grip this freaking stick like you're going to snap it off, bro. That's what you need. And then girls will be feminine, bro. You need to have NASCAR frame, bro. That's how you keep in it. Oh, for Adam, bro. You fucking, you, you just nuts. Do it all the time, bro. Scare those people over there, bro. That's how you do it. You're alpha. I'm alpha. You're beta, bro. That's why you don't get women, bro. You're IC virgin, bro. <laughs> I'm a wannabe alpha, bro. Jesus Christ. Fuck. <laughs> the weakest of the weak. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't punch the like button, you weak-ass soy boy. Get your ass in here, weak. You, s you know what? You, you smell like soy, son. Mr. Alpha Adam, you smell like soy. With your di You're the weakest of them all. You talk about man caves and, you know, you need to step up and women do nothing. You make me sick. <laughs> He's got <laughs> you. <just> you <laughs> oh my god! Okay, guys. 
Hold on a sec, guys. I need a break. I'm going to piss my pants. I freaking so <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I got freaking so <laughs> I can't take it. Oh, it's too funny. Out the ad, bro. Oh, boy. I'm made, I'm made out of soy. Oh, crap. <laughs> Gotta get across the street. I'm trying to, try not to get hit by trucks here. Oh, man. Let's go down to the river. Let's go down to the river. Can I get across here? I don't think so. Damn it. <laughs> the soy simps. Guys, check out this forest. Check it out. Beautiful. I hear birds. Dating Coach Daniel. Dating, you know what Dating Coach Daniel thinks? I think you're absurd. I think that you do not understand the typical Western woman because she has value, sir. And I am going to teach her how to get the guy. It's going to be glorious. Yes, yes. And what I'm going to do is take my handsome face and I'm going to post it on a billboard and I'm going to teach a dating roach, I mean dating coach course on how the ladies can get the guy. It's going to be spectacular. And you will be enamored and you will be shocked. You will be confused. All roads into one. Where am I going? Why did I go this way? I don't think I can go this way, guys. I think I'm stuck. Crap. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on a sec. Ouch. I'm going. <laughs> Friggin' dating. Dating Roach Daniel. He's gonna, he's, gonna he's gonna teach the little ladies how to get the guy. Yeah. He's gonna... <laughs> don't do this. Do that. Be clever. The dumbest of the... It's the blind leading the blind. It really is good. To my legionnaires, it's going to be... This is what's out there. And the funny part is nobody's getting what they want. You know what I mean? It's like nobody has a brain cell to rub together. Ah, welcome to my personal nightmare, gentlemen. To my, to my professional nightmare. Wait a minute. Let's see if I can... Uh, I'm going to switch cameras. You guys are going to like this high resolution. This one's running out of batteries. This one still has batteries, hopefully. I guess we'll find out in a second. Hold on a sec. Let's see if it has batteries. <laughs> the dating roaches have no... It's just funny, guys, because the, uh, the dating roaches have no idea what the hell they're doing. Right? Go ahead and Donkey puts the like button as <laughs> Oh, dating roaches. There's some guys, they're some of the most clueless individuals on the planet. So there's nothing really you can do to help them, but as long as you can save yourselves, right? You're gonna be okay. <laughs> oh man, I gotta stop ripping dating roaches. I gotta do one stream where I'm just not ripping dating roaches or soy boys or you know AWs and just keep it one hundred percent positive. Okay. I think that's Wait a minute. Um, Abel Stevens says, says, LOL, soy boys. Did you know that guys are slowly not using dating apps no more? It's been on the news. Hell, Bumble stocks are starting to fall. Well, yeah, guys, dating has been dead for a while. If you go back to some of my previous streams, it, it's, it's over. It's been over for a while. And there's really nothing... There's nothing anybody can do about this because it was never, it's, gentlemen, dating is not long term. It's a short term contract. Okay. It is not a long term contract. It never has been and it never will be. And it will never, to my AWs, how can you transfer a short term contract into a long term one? You already signed on the dotted line. You said, this is what I'm worth. And that's it. This is how guys think you are never going to get it. Are you? I should be paid to use dating apps. Well, that's where it's this. Let me see if I can get this. Let me know if you guys cut out, even though it's late in the day. Let me get this. Hey, Eddie, pal. Unfortunately, <laughs> see, 
to all you guys who dodged all the bullets, you guys are going to be okay. <laughs> you guys are going to be have so much upside, it's not even... What, what is it with all the people at the park? What the hell is going on here? Is everybody going to the park over here? I don't know, but let's, let's not get involved. Let's not have anybody in my stream. I don't need no, any of these people. Probably good people. Don't you push the like button as you come in. <laughs> So what is the price? What is the cost of providing for an American woman? What is the cost? What are you guys going to be paying? Let's say you acquiesce. Let's say you say, you know what? I give up. I'm going to settle down. She's a cool chick. She's a Texas Kaylee. You know what? She's only got a couple tattoos. She's only been with a couple dudes. Her parents are pretty conservative. What if you guys throw in the towel? What is the cost? What is the cost of getting with a, an American woman? Just in general, or Western, or Western European. What is the cost to my legionnaires? Your lineage, Abel says. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Your lineage. Correct. Wow, Abel Stevenson just nailed it. You are 100%. I just, just clicked. Gentlemen, your lineage is going to be screwed. He just freaking nailed it. Abel Stevenson. Holy mackerel. Holy mackerel. Hold on a sec. Hold on. I'm making you a moderator too, buddy. You just nailed it. You get the Legionnaire. I've got two maximum Legionnaires for the day. I think you're for the last half of the week. Reverend Kevin Powell, you are the Legionnaire of the beginning of the week. Abel Stevenson, you are a Legionnaire at the, at the end of the week. That is really impressive. You guys are very, very, very well informed. You guys know what you're dealing with now. That was the quote of the day. I'm not kidding. Because you encapsulated exactly what is going to be the cost of your essential providing. Look at all these beautiful blue bonnet flowers. Look at these. Oh, it's beautiful. Man. First dates should be a safe uh, cafe, nothing more. Hey, to my guy, Eddie Powell, to all my legionnaires, you want to know something great? You want to know something that is going to blow your effing mind? You don't have to take any traditional foreign women on a date. They are going to pay for you. They are going to cook for you. They are going to try to enter into, what is that? The long-term contract. They are going to give you everything they've got to show you that their marriage girlfriend material. When I went to China, when I went to Hong Kong, how much did I spend? How many? RMB did I spend? How many Hong Kong dollars did I spend? How many Mexican pesos did I spend in any of these countries on a date? Zero. You want to know why, gentlemen? Because a traditional foreign woman would never, ever be seen as a woman that you pay for. She would never lower herself to AW status, ever. I get to Hong Kong. I've said, I've, guys, I have, I have talked about this so many times, I'm almost out of breath. I get to Hong Kong. I'm swiping around on Tinder. I've met a ton of chicks there. And I walk through the mall in this little tiny Hong Kong 7. She was so cute and pretty. She walks up to me and says, you are so handsome. She, she proceeds to take me around Hong Kong and take me to the best restaurants. She takes me around to the greatest dumplings I've ever eaten in my life and Szechuan noodles and cupcakes and everything. And she refused to let me pay. And I, guys, I'm not even kidding. I popped out my wallet several times and I got a nice wallet. She knows I had a little money in there. And she would repeat. She said, no, no, no. No, no. No. I will pay. It's just, it is custom here. 
I'm here to take care of you. Do you understand, guys? To my legionnaires, do you understand? You have been lied to. You have been ripped off. You have been told you need to pay for something that is never going to give you anything. Well, maybe I will. Maybe I will. I want a free meal. That's what you paid for, son. You got ripped off. You should be furious. And here you are listening to a brat, a child, a spoiled child tell you what you need to do. I don't think so. She looked like a little Hong Kong nugget with long hair and a big chest, exactly like I like him. And I don't care if you a if you freaking dating roaches don't like it, Mister. That's a fetish. You can kick rocks. Couldn't care less. Let me see if I can find her. Swear to God, I'm so tired of these dating roaches. Let me show you what she looked like. It's like a little, like a little Asian nugget. She's just too cute. And she was pretty. She was cute and pretty. Kind of like this. Kind of like this. Very similar. Very similar. There we go. Just like this. Almost exactly like this. Massive breasts and a curvy body, guys. She didn't have some stick body like most Asian chicks. Look at that, dude. Like this. My stupid battery on this is dying. Oh, 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 you want to see? Kind of like this. Did you see this? Maybe you guys can't see. I can't see. Just like that. A curvy. She's an LA7. And she is sweet, and she's got straight teeth, and she's got a bright smile, and she's, she's asking me questions. She's asking me about America. She's, she didn't want to leave Hong Kong. She's like, oh, no, I do not want to live here. I want to stay here. I like it here. I would like to have a family here. And I'm like, well, you little Hong Kong nugget, you are just precious. You're just too sweet. She said she wanted to have mixed babies. She said she wanted to have a family. She took me to some of the best restaurants I've ever been to in my life. Not cheap ass pieces of junk. You need to take me. She never asked me, you know, uh, what is it? Where are you taking me? What the hell is that guy's problem? He's the least. Uh, told the canyon we head out to get a pizza. She said we can just go to the supermarket and cook it instead. Exactly, Eddie Powell. They don't want to eat garbage. The only reason this little ch Hong Kong chick didn't take me over to her place is she didn't want to embarrass me. She's like, I, I cannot take you to my place. You, they they're not going to just take you over to their place. You know what I mean? Because she wants to procreate, gentlemen. Because she wants to have a family. She wants to have a good man. We've been sold a bill of goods for several years. Reverend Kevin Powell, we've been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, and run amok. Correct. The good news is, guys, the payoff for your suffering is going to be greater than you could have ever imagined. Your payoff, your end of the rainbow is going to be something you never imagined. And the end of the rainbow for AWs is going to be brutal. You think it's just going to be cats and box wine? Oh, no, no, no. It's going to be a lot worse than that. It's going to be homelessness. It's going to be constant dejection, misery, rejection, sadness, loneliness. Gentlemen, I don't want to get too dark, but the Gen Z lady deletion self, deletion of the self, is higher than any other generation before them for a reason. And I'm not making this up. You can look it up. And I do not wish deletion on these people. But we have to face facts. They're losing for a reason. You see what I'm saying? And it's going to get a hell of a lot worse. You think it's bad now? Because they still haven't learned their lesson. Guys, once they learn their lesson, it's going to get better. But they haven't learned anything. They're still failing. They're still 
not accountable. They are still passing the buck. This is the biggest freaking lesson of this channel. What is the lesson of this channel? Reverend Kevin Powell nailed it earlier. If you take no accountability, what happens? If you blame others for your problems, what happens? If you say it was his fault, it was the weather, it was freaking the devil's fault, what happens? The game is over, ladies. It's too late. You rolled the dice and you came up snake eyes. You played poker and you bluffed. And now you got exactly what you thought you wouldn't get, which is what? A bad hand. You tried to play that bad hand and you got played. You realized that your bluff didn't work. Your bluff, you had nothing. You had no cards. You had, guys in poker, you had no cards. You had a, one of everything. Just a mishmash of freaking, and you played those cards up against the house. And the house said, you know what the house said? I got a royal flush. And you got nothing. And now you're going to have to pay. Now you told the house that you cannot pay, that you're broke that you'll bring the money tomorrow, that later on down the line, you'll get your boyfriend to pay. You told the house your husband would pay. You told the house, just give me a little bit of time, but the house always collects and the house always wins. That's what you don't understand. And when they come to collect, which they already are, they're sending them, they're, they're sniffing around, they're kicking down your door, and you got nothing to pay, what do you think is going to happen? <laughs> I'm thinking karma. One never learns to self-reflect and take the necessary accountability correct. And yes, Abel Stevenson karma, but also failure. When you don't take any accountability for anything, now you lose. And now you try to pass the buck and everybody takes you for exactly what you are. And now you have to essentially pay the ultimate price. Once that, guys, once the freaking, once the bill comes and you can't pay, what do you think is going to happen? Now you're stuck. You're an indentured servant. Most AWs are indentured servants and don't even know it. Look it up. Indentured servants. They owe the government and the government is not going to wipe away that debt. The government is coming. <laughs> they wanted freedom. They got the exact opposite. Just remember that, gentlemen. It's too late. No matter how much money they make, it's never going to be enough. No matter how many high-value guys they try to hook up with, it's never going to be enough. Don't you punch the like button on the way out. Comment in the comment section. One never learns to self-reflect and take the necessary accountability. Correct. I'm going to end it on that, Reverend Kevin Powell. Share this stream. Become a Legionnaire member. Hit the notification bell. Become part of what we're doing. Become a legionnaire by hitting that like button, by sharing the stream. Guys, whatever you can do, I appreciate. I appreciate you more than you would ever know. Be prepared because there's going to be some hard hitting streams coming. There's going to be some hard hitting questions coming. And it's going to be a come to Jesus meeting for all of us. Till next time, gentlemen definitely watching you so let's get to it <laughs> ethnism ethnism reigns supreme <laughs> the future is female i don't think so